Welcome back to Detroit as we look to rebuild our Pistons. In the last episode, we were able to take down the Philadelphia 76ers and secure the 8th seed in the Eastern Conference. We are now going to take on the Atlanta Hawks, who, if we take a look at the standings, the entire league had the best record by three games over the Eastern Conference second seed, Milwaukee Bucks. We take a look at Atlanta just to see what we are up against here because this is a uh, quite scary to say the least best team in the league we're gonna take a look at some of their stats so if we sort this by points there should be no surprises who tops the list Trey Young at 22.6 points per game, shooting 40% from the floor and dishing out 10.6 dimes. But, as you see, he is out with the torn MCL for over 100 days. Now, when did this take place? Player profile. Okay, so this happened pretty much right before New Year. So, pretty interesting that they played pretty uh, almost half a season without their best player and still ended up with the best record in the league. John Collins, their young big man, also out with the torn ACL. When did that take? That must have been more recent. Nope, right, right before. Wow, what a rash of injuries. So, so we're talking about the Atlanta Hawks who, without, let's see how this engine ranks them. So their best player and arguably their second best player have been out almost the you know since before the new year and they still rattled off the best record in the league at 58 and 24. That's quite impressive. So what does their death chart look like? So they're going to roll with Delon Wright, Tyler Hero who they acquired from Miami Heat, DeAndre Hunter, Danilo Gallinari and Clint Capella playing massive minutes. Good Lord, 40 and 40 for Hunter as well. When you've suffered two big injuries like they have, there's no doubt you're going to have to uh, shrink the the rotation uh, quite a bit. So they like to play straight man-to-man, -man, and of course they're going to run that pace, to, pace in space to get those shooters uh, out in the open. So... You know, I, this was a, a series I was desperately afraid of, but now seeing that those two guys are out, we, maybe there's a chance here. So I want to take a look at some of their stats, mainly the three-point shooting. Yeah, they, they, they've they got some snipers out here. So this is definitely a team that we don't want. We don't want to play much zone on this. So let's go back into our strategies. Switch is fine. Pace and space is fine. I think we're okay there. Check out the office. Uh, let's see. It's the zone. Yep. And I bring that down to almost never. I don't want to play zone against this team. I'd hate to lose a game because we just let them bomb away from three. Crash the boards is fine. I think we're good. So I want to pick up the pace on defense. You know what? Let's let's bring some extra pressure. They get a backup point guard. Um, Tyler Hero is not the best ball handler, so we'll, we'll bring the bring the defensive pressure just a little bit more uh, on uh, for full court defense. Now our depth chart still resembles what we were playing against Philly. And we made that late change to put Rubio in over Killian Hayes. I think we're going to keep with what we have here for now. And we'll see how the series gets on before we decide to get crazy with it. So with that said, this episode will be dedicated to this series against the number one seed Atlanta Hawks. We are playing in Atlanta to start 
Vegas has us as the five and a half point favorite on the road. But those injuries definitely playing a huge part there. All right, game one. Let's see how it goes. Oh, all right. Let's investigate. We lose by 13 on the road. <clears throat> Where are the stats? Where are the stats? All right. So they beat us up in the paint. Barely edged us on fast break points. Clint Capella had a huge game. Hunter played well. I mean, they shoot incredibly well. well at least their starters did. Everyone over 50% shooting, except for Hero, just a shade under. Their bench is poor. And they had 20 turnovers. We had 7 turnovers. How do we lose this? I mean, we just couldn't hit shots, it looks like. We shot 39% from the floor. They killed us on the glass. That's where the turnover difference came in. You know, it, they weren't taking as many shots as we were, but the shots that we did take, we were missing, and they were rebounding. We just couldn't, couldn't connect here, huh? Rubio, 3 of 9. Yeah, Hayes didn't show much either here. Yuck, yuck, yuck. That's a that's an ugly game. That's a disappointing loss right there, to be honest. I expected better. Hmm. I think the defensive intensity full court definitely helped. I might take it up a notch. Maybe increase the pace a little bit. See if we can get some better shots on the break rather than trying to settle against their their set defense. <clears throat> what else? Man, I don't want to show much. They, they, they scored in the paint against us, but I don't want to show zone and give up threes over twos, but we will see. All right, some minor tweaks there. And if I have to extend my guys some extra minutes, we will do that. Again, Vegas has us five and a half point favorites. Let's play this one out. What? Ten point loss. We are down 0-2 in the series. This team is no joke. Oh my God! Clint Capella, 33 and 16. What is going on? They shot 52% from the floor. Once again, killed us on the glass. They had a million turnovers. What to do, what to do. Kate is struggling. Maybe this is a situation where we go back and play a bit. But yeah, Rubio's not giving us much this series. Hayes has been awful. So you know what? We're going to have to go back to our old ways. Bring Cade back to the point guard position. Have to get a little bit bigger here. So Covington back into the starting lineup. So we got Simons first off the bench. Rubio. Big Miller. I think Killian Hayes is about to lose his, his minutes. So let's see. I just don't think this is going to be enough minutes for Kate. I think we need to, we're going to have to extend him. Thirty. I mean 38, well, 38 minutes with a power forward minutes. I don't want him playing power forward so actually these are the Rubio minutes I gotta get the power forward minutes here we go get these off of Rubio
So I'm going to give these to Rubio. Some spot power forward minutes there for Cade. Sure, why not? That gets him to 38. And we are really extending this uh, starting lineup here. But we have to. we ha we got to get crazy. Now, Killian Hayes here. I don't want that. Levine's playing 36. Do I extend him a little more? I think that's going to be about it. Okay, so now going back to playing our regular game. So I think we're going to go back to more of a balanced attack here. Maybe the switch is not really doing it for us. And I'm going to take these guys off. I'm just going to stick with this. Mark up Capella. Oh, man. All right, no game this this day. So we'll sim that. Let's see what the series are, stand, uh, are looking like. So as we know, we're down 2-0 to the Hawks. Knicks and Heat nodded up at 1, as well as the Pacers and the Nets, as the Bucks take a two-game lead over the Magic on the West. The Nugs, 2-0 against the Warriors. 2-0 Blazers over Clippers. 2-0 Suns over Pels. Grizzlies and Jazz nodded up at 1 each. Are there any changes we want to make? Look at that. Home court advantage gives you an extra 3 points. We are we have heavily favored in this series and we yet to be competitive. Is there a move? Is there something else we can do? Is there something else we can do? I think we're going to back off on the offensive pace. We're going to slow it down, try to play a grind it out kind of game here, I think. So let's do that. Drop the pace. I want to kill the glass. We need to secure defensive rebounds. All right. Uh, let's bring this. Drop the rotation. I think we're good. All right. Let's see it. Nobody comes back down 3-0. So this is it. This is our do or die game right now. Here we go. Hey, okay. We're alive. The series doesn't start until the road team wins. And this series has not started yet. We, we steal a, a 191 win. Zach Levine pours in 37 with 6 boards and 5 assists. That's, that's the vintage game we needed out of him. Cade struggled still. 11, 7, and 6, but 5 of 15. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We, we didn't shoot well. I mean, outside of Levine, of course. Actually, our bench, two top bench guys are Kai Jones and Landry Miller. They played pretty well. Seems like we're, we're, we played better as we played bigger. Still got beat in the paint, which is crazy to me. Still got beat on the fast break, but 10 to 5 isn't, isn't too concerning. We were up 28 at one point. So they actually took a lead in the third quarter on us, and then we, we ran away with it towards the end. Nice. Capella, 21-10. and 10. So we kind of slowed him down a little bit. I just don't know what else to do to stop him. Hero. You know what? Maybe we need to mark up on Hero here. Maybe I'll put maybe I'll stick Cade on him. Or Levine, actually, yeah, I think it's going to be Levine. So, let's go into our strategy. You know what? And I think it's weird like this. We have a game set. Okay, so I think there's a little, I'm not sure if it's a bug or this is how it's designed, but um, these player assignments that we're picking here, the matchups, they only stick for one day. So, if today was an off day, I wouldn't want to set up the matchup because it then resets after simming the next day. But we do have a game tonight, so I'm going to stick Levine on Hero. I thought I got rid of these guys. I want Miller on Capella. And I want no selection. 
and no selection. All right. I think maybe I have to clear it out. Okay. Let's see if this works. I think you know we, we got a good win. I don't want to mess with nothing, so let, let, let's see how we do here. Again, eight and a half point favorites. Nothing too crazy. Kevin Hurd is now out. Okay. Man, I, the, the injury bug is on our side. We need to take advantage of this. Let's see. Can we not up the series? And we do. Eight point win, but we suffer our own loss as well as it looks like Cade Cunningham has suffered an injury. Oh, boy. So let's take a look. Levine again, monstrous with 37 points. Tyler Hero struggled a 5 of 12 from the floor. So Levine playing both offense and defense for us. Cade, another abysmal offensive showing, but he was a plus 24 on the floor. So he's still bringing positive value to this team. Immense, immense positive value. Ooh, Sadiq Bey. Nice 21, 7, and 4 showing. All right. So we played well. Again, there's Capella getting his 28 and 17, but seven turnovers is a killer. Their bench is, again, atrocious in this game. That's huge. It's been huge. Look at the rebounds have kind of evened up a little bit. Fast break points. We actually won the fast break points, and we're not trying to fast break whatsoever. Um, second chance points beat, killed us. So that's where Capella is getting us. Look at it. six offensive rebounds. He's probably putting them right back in. Now it's time to see what does Cade Cunningham's injury look like. So, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Cade, torn MCL. He is out over a year. Oh, God. Well, I mean... Could we win the series still at 2-2? Sure. Sure we could. But man, that you can just kiss 23-24 goodbye. You can kiss a goodbye. No Cade? Oh my god. You know, since since we're talking about it, let's I want to take a look at the media. And it should be draft picks. Do we still have it? I think, okay. Oof. We have our 2024 first round pick still. I know I traded one away. I forgot if, which which year it was. Thankfully, we still have that in because we are going to play next season with no Cade Cunningham. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Oh boy. Well. Let's see what we can do here, guys. We're going to have to rally together. That's it. It's 2-2. Two to two. Atlanta took two games on us. And they're playing, they're playing with two of their best players out. So let's do it. Rubio, step on up. Killian Hayes, step on up. And then we're going to drop him out of the rotation. Wow, we're going extra, extra light on this rotation. Eh, well, they're still playing nine. Nine deep. Zach Levine. I'm going to need more. Could take Covington small forward minute there. I, I can't play the full quarter. We'll give you thirty. We'll run you thirty-eight. You're going to have to go. Oh man, that's a tough blow. We're going to stay balanced here. I guess so, right? Man, that 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 hurts. That really hurts. All right, sim that day, we're not playing. Here we are. Knotted up. 2 to 2, Bucks sweep 4-0. Nets and Heat take a 3 to 1 lead. In the West, two sweeps, the Nuggets over the Warriors, Suns over Pelicans. In the other two series, the Blazers and Clips, 
as well as the Grizz and Jazz are tied up at two each. So some pretty good series going on here. Let's see how the odds change. We're still favored by eight and a half. I don't really trust those numbers, but. All right, what do we look like without Cade? Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. 15 point win on the road. Oh, excuse me, my math is up. 20 point win on the road, what? So, what happened? We shot 42%, 40% from three. Hey, they just had a poor shooting up night, huh? Capella, 15 and 12. DeLon Wright was another 15 point score. Bogey at 16 off the bench, but we just, we just locked down. All right, we're alive. We're not only alive, we're in the driver's seat. Kai Jones, 24 off the bench. Despite Sadiq Bey launching 13 shots and connecting on two, he's a plus 20. Wow, we, we rolled. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Sim this game, we're not in it. Here we are. We're going into the game. Let me triple check. Mute the sounds just in case those get a bit wild. All right. AI control. Oh, that's right. We're going back home. All right. Close it out in six. Let's do it. Look at this ragtag lineup. Both teams suffering some injuries. This is not... Neither team is at their best right now, but here goes nothing. Can we close this series at home in six over the one seed Atlanta Hawks? Well, I'm a little nervous right now. Big 20, coming off a 20 point win, you'd think we'd be pretty secure in how we're feeling, but I, you know, I, we are the Pistons for a reason, guys. We're up 8 4 early. Levine's cooking, he's got seven of our 10. Three of three from the floor. I love it. But here comes Atlanta. Takes a quick lead. Capella's got six and five with a block. He's going to double-double in the first half. Watch. Knotted up halfway through. Levine's got 13. 13 of 18 points for us. He's cooking. Tyler Harrow with four on two of seven shooting. I love to see him shooting himself out of this game. Make it two of eight for Harrow. He's going to be Detroit's hero tonight. Killian Hayes, Anthony Simons into the game. Can we get a little boost from you two? Up four going into the second quarter. With Zach Levine have 16. And here comes Atlanta. They will not go away. Will not go away. Bogey with a big triple off the bench. Simons buries a triple for himself off the bench as well. You know, who's been quiet this series is Isaiah Stewart. He's been completely, utterly dominated by Clint Capella. Look at, we're halfway through the second quarter. We're in the 30s here. Capella's one point away from a first half double double, and there it is 11 and 13. Jesus. We cannot contain the man. Sadiq Bey with 11 on 4 of 8 shooting. Add in five boards, two steals, and a block. He's showing up to play the last couple games. Levine's going to get a blow to end the half here. As we trail by four, trail by six. Bang, big triple from Covington. And we're going to go into the break down five. I'm really not liking what we're seeing right now. Levine's got 16 on six of nine shooting. Nice. Sadiq Bay 13 on 5 of 9, but the rest of the team is struggling. For the Hawks, it's Clint Capella all day. 16 and 13 in the first half. Wow. We might see a 30-25 game from him. Both teams shooting pretty much the same. We're turning the ball over way too much. 11 turnovers. Oof. All right, guys, time to button up. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Love to see Tyler Hero, three of 10. 
Levine gets to the 20 point mark. So not only is Levine balling out on offense, give, make it 22, but he's locking up Tyler Hero, their best offensive perimeter player for the series. This is why we brought Levine in on that max deal. He, he's going to carry us, especially when we're going without Cade right now. We're this game is back and forth. Back and forth. Neither team is able to really get out ahead of them. We're keeping them off the offensive glass. They've got five, but we got five as well. So we're, we're battling. We're battling here. But can our bench give us anything here? We're down two. It seems like both benches are really, really struggling. So it's going to come down to the starters, but we can't, we can't get into too deep a hole here. We're down six. We need a little something. Get a stop. Uh, down eight. All right, down eight, going into the fourth. I'm going to slow this down a bit. Down ten. Oh, man, I don't think I don't think we got the juice in this one, guys. Down twelve. We can't get a stop. And they're only shooting 40% from the floor, but we're shooting 36, so that's we're not really bringing it right now. Eight-point game. Can we get a stop in a bucket? Bang. Big three from Sadiq Bay. Let's go. Five-point game. Eight minutes to go. Here we go. We slowed it down a little bit. Landry Miller, four points, but ten boards off the bench. Killian Hayes bangs a jumper. Three-point game. pick up the pace a little bit we got seven minutes left we're only down three what do we get out of this offensive rebound by Sadiq Bay lays it back in he's got 24 big game from Big Bay bogey banks a three four point lead can we get a stop? Get a stop here. They go to Capella. Nope. Back into Capella. There it is. Oh, man. 27 and 19 for Clint Capella. He's torching us. And we're getting killed on the offensive glass. Here it comes. Giving up crucial offensive rebounds. Levine. Big triple. Six point game. Five minutes to go. Oh, God. We put Capella to the line. I don't know if we got it. Can we get a bucket? Why are we why are we shooting pull up threes? Levine's chucking now. Levine is chucking. He's going hero ball down ten here. Oh, we're gonna need a mini miracle. Oh god, Clint Capella, there it is. 30-20 game from Clint Capella. This is incredible. Doesn't look like we got the juice tonight, friends. Down 12. We're going to get through this one now. Man, that's just... It would have been nice to lock this up at home. In front of the, the Detroit faithful, but... Wasn't meant to be. Levine and Bay combined for 57 tonight. Just couldn't get it done. A 13-point loss at home. And there will be a crucial deciding game seven. Eight offensive rebounds for them. Eight for us, but we just didn't we just didn't make anything happen. Look at second chance points. Eight to two. Got beat points in the paint. Man. We had two guys hit shots tonight. That's it. And Levine got cold down the stretch, too. So, man. How do I stop them from scoring in the paint? It's sim this day because we're not playing. <clears throat> Any other game sevens happening? Blazers Clips going to Game 7. Grizz Jazz, Game 7. 
Same for us. And then Knicks and the Heat going to a game seven as well. I want to see something. How was I see Stewart playing for us in this series? Plus two. He's got five fouls. Yeah, he played 15 minutes. Do I get crazy? Oh, that's the same game. Do I bench Stewart for Landry Miller? Yeah, I don't think I can do that. I, I like what I like our tactics. I like our strategy. I like how we're going, but we just need to get it done. So let's do it. Just get it done. AI control. This is it. Game seven, fellas. Win or you're gone fishing. Let's do it. We need to come out hot and get stops. That's it. Come out hot, get stops. And what have we done? We've come out cold and can't stop a nosebleed. Down quick six until Levine pours one a bucket in for us. Rubio with a rare three. Very balanced scoring from the Hawks. All of their starters get on the board. It's now a 16 to seven game. Rubio's got five, but Nobody else is showing up. Three, we have 3 of 13 from the floor. They're 5 of 12. 6 of 13. Oh, man. If there were a game to not come out and miss every shot, it would probably be a game 7. We're 4 of 16. We're down 14 early in this one. Down 18. I don't like the looks of this. Down 20. And the Atlanta faithful, it must be going nuts here in State Farm Arena because they, they're up 25 and we, we scored 12 points and we're almost halfway through the second quarter what is going on so there's no Zach Levine here I have a very very bad feeling that Levine has suffered it oh no there he is well oh it just happens to be one of 11 I guess that's the problem and he had two fouls look at this we are gonna set Detroit basketball back like, not only should it have been a positive that we made the playoffs, not only should it have been a positive that we tied the series up 2-2, two to two, not only should it have been a positive that we went up 3-2 to two with the chances to end it at home, but then we go and lose Kate Cunningham for all of next year. We go on to lose Game 6 at home to now being down 29 points at halftime in a crucial do or die game seven. This is the emotional roller coaster that, that the Detroit Pistons will put you on. And this is just playing out the string as there is no chance we are coming back from this game. So think about this. No Trey Young, no John Collins for the entire season second half of the season and this entire series they also lose um, Kevin Herter in the middle of the series and they are completely wiping the floor with us right now I mean Zach Levine is 2 of 18 from the floor like, if he's not scoring we have no chance we now have to start planning for next season no Cade what are we going to do we invested in Zach Levine for four years on the max deal. This is year one. Was there success? Yeah, absolutely there was some success. But what is having Zach Levine around next year going to do for us? I mean, we barely made the playoffs with Cade on the roster, playing fully healthy. Do we consider moving off of Zach Levine prior to the draft and seeing what we can accumulate for assets. Maybe, because next year we're not going anywhere. So we are looking, we have our draft pick, we are not moving it. We are looking at something in the very, very high end of the draft. Hopefully it's a, a top heavy draft and we can land a, a legit franchise cornerstone to pair up with Cade Cunningham. 
Now, if there's a deal that comes around for Zach Levine where we can add a young player and a couple picks, we may have to entertain that because, you know, after after next season, that's a lost season. We got, we got him under contract for two more years. Is it worth keeping around? Who knows? But that's where we're at right now. And you know where else we're at right now? Lance Flick is seeing playoff minutes. That's how embarrassing the Pistons are right now. We're down 29. Saban Lee's in the game. Like, good Lord. These guys shouldn't even be on the roster, and they're running game seven minutes. What a disappointment. What a disaster. Congrats to the Hawks. You earned it. Number one seed. Moving on. Capella with 20 and 14. I mean, there's nothing to talk about here. We shot 33% from the floor. Levine was gassed. He's just gassed. Minus 26. Landry Miller, good thing I didn't start you. You would have been, I mean, Stewart was a plus one. How how were you at plus one when you got blown out? Oh, that's this is how he played 16 minutes. So they weren't able to score as much as we would have expected. We just got wiped. There's nothing to do there. So that's going to be the end of that one. So let's uh, simulate this series. What do we got here? Show the playoffs. Who won them? Grizz took down the Jazz. Like to see that. Blazers over the Clips. And the Heat take down the Knicks. Not bad. All right. Um, you know what? Should we finish the playoffs? You know, I'm going to cut it here. Next time we come back, we'll see uh, how the playoffs shape up. And we'll get through like the draft lottery and all that fun stuff. Man, what a disappointment that was. Sorry to let you guys down, but I'd like to say we'd be back and better than ever next year, but we know that's not true. Signing off from here in Detroit, that's the end of our 2022-23 season for the Pistons. When we come back next time, we'll see who wins the title and what the draft lottery shakes out to be. Thanks for joining us.